It's all part of Channel 6 News, live at daybreak for Tuesday, September 13th. So happy to have the you. person of interest in the case of a missing Peru state student, Ty Thomas, will be back in court this week. Another unrelated case against him is inching its way forward in the Nemaha County courtroom. It's an alleged sexual assault on another co-ed who didn't file a report until after she heard about Thomas. Jody Baker is live now with more on a new state law which could encourage young women to step forward sooner. Well, it's important to note that Keitel has not been convicted of any crime at this point, but earlier this year I did speak with his alleged victim. She said she didn't come forward sooner because she felt it was somehow her fault. She felt ashamed. Now, those at Methodist's same SART program say they hear that often. Their job is to examine and collect evidence from victims. But in the past, before they could do that, they needed parental consent for anybody under the age of 19. A new law in effect before this school year began changes that. That law allows 18-year-olds to seek health care and evidence collection, and they no longer need parental or other adult consent for that. They're able to consent to the health care and evidence collection themselves. The YWCA worked with Senator Steve Lathrop of Omaha to pass that legislation for victims. Methodists saw 153 patients over the age of 18 for sexual assault last year alone. Now coming up at 6.30, more from my past conversation with the alleged victim in the Keitel case and why those at Methodists say it's important to report the crime right away. Jim Cerise. It's a heavy topic, but one I think a lot of us with daughters and a lot of folks with daughters mm -hmm. off at college this year for the first time have some interest in that new law. Absolutely, it's, it's a really important issue, especially this time of year as college has just started back up. You bet, all right, thanks Jody Baker reporting live for us this morning. Another look. As college students settle into their school routines, there is unfortunately a darker side of campus life. That's right, a startling figure from the U.S. Department of Justice. They estimate one in four co-eds will be sexually assaulted before they graduate. Jenny Baker is live with more on a state law in effect this year, which aims to increase the reporting of crime. Jody? Well, Jim Cerise, that same Justice Department survey shows that women between the ages of 16 and 24 are at four times the risk of sexual assault than the rest of the general female population. Now, in Nebraska, hospitals had to have the consent of parents for any victims under the age of 19 before they could examine or file a police report in these cases. Well, this year, just a couple of weeks ago, that law dropped to 18. Lawmakers and victims advocates hope that helps take away some of the stigma and some of the shame that sometimes victims feel, the reason so many don't want to get police involved. This is the man a young woman named Katie claims attacked her last Halloween. Weeks later, Joshua Keetle would be named as a person of interest in the disappearance of Ty Thomas. I was so far gone that I, I wasn't sure what had just happened. I mean, I knew that it wasn't consensual. Katie said it happened after a party and she didn't want her parents or anybody else to know. I didn't tell anybody because I felt that it was my fault. You know, because I was the one who went to the party by myself. I drank. We often see people who um, feel some guilt and some shame. The St. Sart program at Methodist collects evidence from victims who do come forward. They hope by the state's lowering adult reporting age to 18 without their parents knowing that more victims will report the crime immediately. Some patients may have been exposed to sexually transmitted diseases, many of which can be prevented through the use of antibiotics. Then there are the ongoing needs of victims. The hospital, a conduit to those crucial resources. There are lots of people in the community who want to help and who are ready to help. The initial step is coming forward so that the physical and emotional needs can be taken care of. Katie said she's getting that help now and wishes she hadn't waited until she saw her alleged attacker eyed for another crime against another co-ed. Now that sexual assault charge from Katie's case heads back to Nemaha County Court tomorrow for pretrial trial motions. The defense wants permission to depose another witness. The prosecution is expected to add charges. The trial begins December 5th. Jim Cerise. Jody, that's good information. Hopefully this new law will help more people come forward. But did they give any information or any suggestions for co-eds to maybe to prevent this from happening in the first place? 
Well, you know, there are always ways you can be safer. Um, nothing's 100%, but certainly to travel with groups, to never uh, go off with somebody that you don't know very well, and uh, that alcohol and, and drug consumption that's a problem on so many campuses really puts co-eds at risk. All right, good information. Jody Baker reporting live this morning. Thank you. Well, this has